Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, one finite state machine is implemented using the D flip flops and the logic gates. And in the question, we have been given that the four possible states of the FSM are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and the 1, 1. So here, this axin is the input to the FSM. And in the question, we have been given that this input is kept at the constant logic level throughout the operation of this FSM. So the initial state of the FSM that is QA, QB is equal to 0, 0. And then after, the clock signals are applied to this FSM. So once we apply the clock signal to the FSM, then it will go through the specific states. So for the given FSM, we have been asked to find which one of the following is the correct answer. So as you can see, this FSM is implemented using the D flip flops and the logic gates. So here, the two D flip flops are A and B. So let's say for this A flip flop, the input is equal to DA, while for the B flip flop, the input is equal to DB. Likewise, the output of this A flip flop is equal to QA, while the output of this B flip flop is equal to QB. So as you can see over here, this DB is equal to this QA dot X in whole bar because this input db is coming through this NAND gate. Likewise, if we see the input for this da or the input to this flip-flop, then that is equal to this qx or qb. And here, the clock signal is common between the two flip-flops. So in the question, we have been given that this input xin is kept at the constant logic level throughout the operation. So for this input, we can have only two values. And depending on the value of this input, the FSM will go through the specific states. So initially, let's assume that the value of this input is equal to 0. So as per this equation, when the input xin is equal to 0, then the value of the db will become 1. Because as you know, when any one of the input to the NAND gate is equal to 0, then its output will be equal to 1. That means in this case, when the input xin is equal to 0, then this db input will become 1. And the input to this A flip flop or this da is equal to qx or qb. So based on that, once the clock signal is applied, then it will go through the specific states. So based on this condition, let us see that. So in the question, we have been given that the initial state of the FSM is equal to 0, 0. That means initially, both q and qb is equal to 0. So whenever this input xin is equal to 0, then permanently this db input will become 1. That means in the initial state, this db input will become 1. And as you can see, this input da is equal to qx or qb. So initially, since both q and qb is equal to 0, so this da input will become 0. And now, these two will be the inputs to the d flip flops. That means once the first clock pulse is applied, then the output of these two D flip flops will be same as the input. That means after the first clock pulse, if you see the outputs of the two D flip flops, then that is equal to 0 and 1. And based on these outputs, the new inputs will be generated for the two flip flops. So like I said, when the input xin is equal to 0, then this db will remain 1. And this da input is equal to qx or qb. So here, for this 0 and 1 input, this qx or qb will become 1. Therefore, after the first clock pulse, this da input will become 1. That means now if you see, then both da and the db inputs are 1, 1. That means after the second clock pulse, the output of the two d flip flops will be also equal to 1, 1. And now, based on these two outputs, the new inputs will be generated for the two flip flops. So once again, this db input will remain 1. And now, since both q and qb is equal to 1, so the 1 xor 1 will become 0. That means after the second clock pulse, this da input is equal to 0, while the db input is equal to 1. That means after the third clock pulse, the same input will be appear at the output of the d flip flops. And based on these two inputs, the next inputs to the flip flop will become 1 1. And once again, at the fourth clock pulse, based on these two inputs, the output of the flip-flop will become 1-1. So in this way, as you can see, 
after the few clock pulses the output of this fsm will go through the two different states that is 0 1 and the 1 1 so we can say that if this input x in is kept at the zero logic level then the output of this fsm will go through the two different states so similarly now let us see what happens when the input x in is equal to 1 so from this equation when the input x in is equal to 1 then this db will become qa bar and this da will remain qx or qb so now based on this let us see when the clock pulses are applied then how the output of the fsm will change so like i said initially the fsm will start at the 0 0 state so when the input x in is equal to 0 then as per this equation this db is equal to qa bar so initially since the qa is equal to 0 so this qa bar will become 1 that means at that time this db input will be equal to 1 and this da is equal to qx or qb and as you know since the 0x or 0 is equal to 0 so this da input will become 0 that means initially this da input is equal to 0 but the db input is equal to 1 that means now when the clock pulse will be applied then the input to the a flip flop is equal to 0 while the input to the b flip flop is equal to 1 that means after the first clock pulse its output will be same as the input so now this qa will become 0 while the qb will become 1 and now based on these two outputs the new inputs for the flip flop will get generated so since this db is equal to qa bar so after the first clock pulse this db will remain 1 and this da is equal to qx or qb so in this case this 0x or 1 is equal to 1 that means now this da input will become 1 so now based on these two inputs after the second clock pulse the output of the two flip flops will become 1 1 so as you can see now since the qa is equal to 1 so this db will become 0 and now this 1x or 1 is equal to 0 therefore this da will also become 0 that means now the inputs to the two flip flops are 0 0 and after the third clock pulse the same will be appear at the output that means after the third clock pulse this qa qb is equal to 0 0 so once again since the qa is equal to 0 so this db will become 1 and as you know this 0 x or 0 is equal to 0 therefore this da input will remain 0 that means now this da db is equal to 0 1 that means now the input to the a and the b flip flops are 0 1 and after the fourth clock pulse the same will be appear at the output that means after the fourth clock pulse this qa qb is equal to 0 1 and based on these two inputs this d and the db will become 1 1 so in this way the output of the fsm will go on so as you can see from the table when the input action is equal to 1 then after the few clock pulses the fsm will go through the three different states that is 0 0 0 1 and the 1 1 so from this we can say that for the given final state machine when the input action is equal to 1 then it will go through the three different states and whenever this input action is equal to 0 then it will go through the two different states so based on these facts let us see out of the given four options which one is the correct one so we know that when the input x in is equal to 1 then the fsm will go through the three different states and likewise when the input x in is equal to 0 then it will go through the two different states so if you see these four options then out of the four options only this d is the correct answer